G'day, welcome back to my mini home workshop. Uh, just a short episode 12 this time on uh, truing up the chuck. I mentioned in one of my videos a while back that I'd had a go at truing up the, uh, the jaws in this chuck, this shitty, crappy Chinese chuck that was supposed to be something that it's not. Um, and they're still not great. And this is, this is one of the linear bearing inserts that I changed from the original setup. And it is ground, so we can assume it's pretty true. Well, it must be good for something, I guess. So I'm gonna have another go at, at truing up this chuck. And uh, this time I'll, I'll run through the whole thing so you can see what, what I'm doing. All right, so let's do that. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut up three pieces of steel, I've measured them to make sure they're all the same size and they're all within one hundredth of a millimetre I'm going to stick them down in here a little bit of double sided tape on the back of each one just so they will stay in place till I uh, get this all set up chuck down on those, make sure they're all centered. So they're all in there and centered, pinched in place. So the first thing we'll need to do is bore the center out of those three bits of steel very carefully I might add Making relatively light cuts in here at the moment, just so we don't tear them out in case it's not held as well as I think that they, they are held in there. Better be safe than sorry. Time for a look. See just how close I am. Very close indeed. There's still maybe a half a mil or so left in there. Okay, I think that's actually touching the jaw there. It is. We'll go right to the back. Some of that's off. Awesome. Right up to the back of the jaws. Okay, so I've repositioned the camera so you can see better and we're going to be cutting the inside of that chuck slightly but that doesn't bother me too much, it's a pretty crappy chuck anyway so let's get on with it
All right, so we've had a uh, single cut all the way out. We'll uh, see what it looks like. That jaw looks like it uh, may not have got a full cut. And that one. This one looks... Uh, uh, actually, it doesn't look too bad. I don't want to cut any more out of the inside of that chuck, so uh, we'll take those bits out and see how it came up. Well, I have to say that's a huge improvement. We've gone from 20 hundredths to 2 hundredths, which is like nothing. So I'm much happier with it. We'll call that a win. To make sure that the, uh, I wasn't getting a false reading from that ground bearing, I machined this little adapter for, for this life center that came with the original tailstock I had up and I had no problems at all getting it to run through. Very happy with the end result. Well that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd, I'd like to hear what everyone has to say. If you got something from that, smash that like button and keep up to date with future releases. Press that subscribe button and to get notified, press that little ding-a-ling-a-ling -ling button. That one. Yeah, that's it. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.